You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio, man. We are here once again, and today we're going to talk about an amazing topic. Nickelodeon's Avatar, the last airbender and the host of the Avatar podcast. We had them on before, but it's a honor having them back on today. We have Janet and Dante. How y'all doing this morning? Doing well. Good morning. Doing great. How you doing? Man, doing awesome, man. It's like, it feels like a family reunion a little bit. So, <laughs> hey, we're back. We're back. <laughs> so, man, what's been new with this amazing podcast, man? What were some of the things that y'all can tease for the audience? Well, we started season two and season two brings so many cool characters, especially all the all the, the, the incredible women that are joining the show this year uh, of the book and bringing them on this season of the of our show, including Toph coming uh, and Azula and the voice actress Great Ala who plays Azula and Michaela Murphy. And also, you know, the, the team, the, the bad girls team, uh, May and Ty Lee are here. So we get to talk to Cricket and also Olivia Hack. So it's really a lot of wonderful things happening this season of Braving the Elements. And you, Janet, man, what's some of the fun things that you've been able to, to do as well with this podcast as far as the hot topics and getting us behind the scene like exclusive insight. Sure, sure. Well, we love having the cast on, as Dante mentioned. We've loved having, we've had more directors and more writers on this season, which is always like we never fail to find out something that I just don't think people know. We didn't know it. And, you know, the best thing you hear when a writer opens his mouth to say something and they say, I don't know if I've ever told this story before or I don't think anyone knows this, but, you know, we just perk up because we're like, we know how hungry this fandom is for, you know, the behind the scenes, how characters are originated, you know, what's going on in that writer's room, you know, how's a cabbage merchant, not the eggplant merchant. So whenever we feel like we're getting some scoop that people may not know about, we get so excited because obviously we're there as fans, but we're also there knowing that, you know, it's, it's our job. We feel like it's our job to to expand the universe like that. That's what we show up for. And so uh, getting any of those tidbits is like, you know, catnip. And Dante, man, y'all been doing some exciting things. Y'all were at San Diego Comic Con for a live podcast recording. It's great. I mean, we got to, Phil Lamar was there with us. Jack DeSena was there with us. So bringing on some incredible voice actors uh, and doing the podcast live is a whole different energy and experience. So I, at that particular con, we missed Miss Janet Varney here. I, I was running, I was running by myself out there. I was a little nervous, Janet, to tell you the truth, to take the point guard position there. Uh, <laughs> you killed it, buddy. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get COVID from the show I was working on. So I couldn't oh. go down <laughs> to San Diego, but I got to to be a part of the show in a little way, in which I was able to um, let everybody know via video that um, that we, you know, we had the exclusive release of the info that we know that now that the first Avatar Studios movie is going to be focusing on Aang and his friends. So that took the sting out of not being able to be there a little bit. Um, but I will say, and I don't think I've ever told this story before. See what I did there? there that go. after the podcast happened, I got a text from our producer, Yimu, who said, you know, Dante was awesome i went ahead and texted dante said i heard you killed it never heard back from him <laughs> get out of here <laughs> never texted me back we, we i was we, like he's over it see, that's he, a oh my gosh man. he's gonna take that. over the podcast <laughs> no, no, what's no. up with that hey, and now i gotta get ahead. that beef out it's only been several oh months goodness. and i never said anything about it <laughs> thank you janet oh my god <laughs> A lot happening at San Diego Comic Con. He got too big for his co-host. There's a lot of stuff happening at San Diego Comic Con. We get we get lost in the soup out there sometimes. I know it. I know it. I will be in San. You're in San Antonio, right? I will be in San Antonio at the Comic Con out there coming up soon. Also, hey, that's that's where I am, San Antonio, Texas, man. So, uh, yeah, that that'll be awesome, man. So when you are doing these shows. I mean, obviously you're, you're representing Nickelodeon and doing big things and doing great things. What has been the feedback so far with the fans? Cause y'all been doing this for a while. I remember I had y'all like two times uh, before. So I know the fan base for the, sh for the podcast has grown tremendously. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we, we like to, you know, it's funny cause we, when we, 
things started opening back up again, one of the first places that we went together was, uh, what was it? Where were we, buddy? Where was it Boston? Where or Toronto? Wherever we Something were. Like that. Yeah, I think it was Toronto. Um, and, and the podcast had only been out for a month or so. And, you know, we did our panel and obviously people were there at our panel because they love the shows that we're on. So it wasn't that the love wasn't there. But when we were talking about doing the podcast and we asked people how many people had listened to it, it was like, I think maybe like a third of the people. There were hundreds of people there. Yeah. And uh, and we were like, oh, man, you got to listen to the podcast. Like there's already, you know, eight episodes waiting for you or whatever. And it's funny because we've done several live appearances together since. So it hasn't quite been a year yet, but even in just that, you know, nine months or whatever it's been, it's gone from like 30% to like 99.9% yeah, so of people fans. who know the podcast, it's, which is such a great feeling. It's just a different way to engage with the show and to, to just, you know, talk us, us talking about it, but then, you know, it's a personal conversation with the fan base. And we have a lot of fans that come on the show and, and we answer a lot of questions that people tweet in or ask us on Instagram or TikTok. And so it's, it's really great. Man. I had to pinch myself again because I get to hang out with Janet and Dante for real, for real this morning. So once <laughs> you again, we love to see you, man, or I, hear you as the case may be. <laughs> I just want that voice, say, that voice. <laughs> I know. I want to say thank you guys so much for not just uh, being on again talking about Nickelodeon's Avatar the Bass, Aaron Banner, and host of Avatar Podcast. It really, truly is uh, an honor to just chop it up with you guys this morning. And thank you for just doing what you do, man. Y'all have amazing careers and it shows, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank oh, you so much. I appreciate you.